Praise the Lord. This is Dr. C. Dexter Wise the third. Oh, give thanks for the blessed stuff. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed it to his disciples. The thought that a lad's lunch could feed 5,000 hungry people seemed to be somewhat of a joke, but it was no joke to Jesus. John 6, 11 teaches us that number one, he took the bread and made the miracle his responsibility. And two, he gave thanks as a model of thanksgiving and a mandate to give thanks. Now watch how Matthew 14, 19 describes what Jesus did next. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes and looking up to heaven, he blessed it and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. You see what he did right there in the middle of this verse? He blessed the fish and loaves. He didn't just start passing it out. First, he blessed it. Needless to say, it was this blessing which transformed it from regular fish and loaves to a blessed banquet. Think about it. The only reason you're able to stretch that can of beans to feed four kids is because the Lord blessed it. The only reason your presentation came to you so easily and went over so well is because the Lord blessed it. The only reason your car didn't run out of gas until you pulled into the gas station is because the Lord blessed it. The only reason that bump you thought was cancerous came back benign was because the Lord blessed it. The only reason your mind is full of creativity and productivity is because the Lord blessed it. The only reason your house was not broken into while you slept was because the Lord blessed it. How much time do you have right now for me to continue this list? Because I could go on. Make your own list. Begin right now to bless the Lord because of all the things in your life which have been multiplied and magnified simply because he blessed it.